Hi guys, welcome back to Triple A and L. Today I have a fun and exciting video for y'all. I always say that in every one of my videos, so I'm pretty sure y'all are bored of it. Hey guys, so I'm gonna show you guys the stuff that I'm reviewing. This is gonna be a first impression on all of these stuff. Excuse that. This is gonna be a first impression on all of this stuff that I picked up at the store. Um, and I got one, two, three, four, four Wet n Wild stuff, and I'll start with that. So the things that I got is this Cover Girl or Cover All primer from Wet n Wild. It's not Cover Girl. It looks like this. I haven't opened it or played with it or anything, so of course it's gonna be a first impression. Um, this is um, the setting spray from Wet n Wild, and it's so itty bitty, but I don't know how. I don't know if I like that. I have used setting sprays, I have used primers, high and low, so I should, um, you know, know what I'm comparing it to. And then I got two, <laughs> two brushes from Wet n Wild. This is the, um, this is the small concealer brush, and this is the contour brush. So we'll try those out today and see how they work. That's the four things that I got from Wet n Wild. And then I got this um, new Outlast All Day Cover Girl Concealer. And it looks like that. This was $12, you guys, and it kind of hurt me to buy it because I could buy like two of my foundations with that. And my favorite foundations to use is my um, Maybelline Fit Me. Um, so I could buy two of those. But this little concealer was 12 bucks, and it hurt me so bad. And then lastly, the thing that I got was these Equal Tools Perfecting Blender Duo. And they look like this. And um, it actually comes with two, and that's a great deal because you get it for like ten dollars and um you get two of them so that's a really good deal i have already opened up some and i haven't i haven't used them i just kind of wet them this is my sister's package so that's why it's not opened um but the other ones are open and i have um soaked them and squeezed them and everything and gotten them ready for you guys but um i have used a beauty blender i've used multiple beauty blenders i've used um you know cheap sponges i've used the real technique one so i am pretty like i'm not like the best but i know what i'm comparing it to so i have used a lot of this um stuff higher end and lower end so um I can compare it for you guys. So the first thing that I'm gonna put on is the Wet n Wild primer, um, and I'll just put this all over my face. And I will be using this sponge right here. They are a little bit hard, I think, compared to like the Beauty Blender and the Real Technique one. Real Techniques one, it's just a little bit hard. So this is the one when it's wet, and this is when it's dry. So there is quite a bit of difference, and I really, really like that about it. It does become a little bit softer. I'm gonna squirt a little bit of this on the back of my hand. Oh, it's like a cream. I'm just gonna apply it to my face, you guys, like this. I used my fingers, and I'm gonna blend in with this. Ewa. These sponges are a little bit hard. Um, it's something that I don't like so I zoomed you guys in so you guys could just you know get a little up and close and personal view I could definitely tell it's like mattifying my face so the foundation I'll be using today is the fit me um, the Maybelline fit me dewy and smooth and 225 I'm gonna fast forward this because it's not part of the first impression um, the thing that is gonna be part of the first impression is the sponge um, it's really soft the little one was a little hard this one's a lot softer than the little one the little one is a little bit hard sponge is a lot bigger than a sponge that I've used like the butt of it is a lot bigger so I really really like that about the sponge so I do like how it applied my foundation guys it looks really good so I do like that about this now time to try the concealer this is in the shade light medium so I just got that it looks a little bit more um, yellowy for um, covering my under my under eye circles so I really like that but it sounds a little bit liquidy, so I don't know what I feel about that. And it also has an applicator at the end of it, so it's like a little fluffy applicator, which I'm not sure. I'm not sure about that. So what we're just going to do is we're going to apply it with the applicator right underneath our eyes. I'm 
I'm gonna use the sponge, the little sponge again, just to blend everything out. I didn't like to use the little one because I felt like it was just too hard underneath my eyes. So I'm just gonna go in with this um, big one and just blend it all out. Yeah, the little one was just taking up all my product and it really wasn't doing anything to it, but this big one is blending out. Um, the concealer didn't really like wow me or anything like that. Um, it feels really lightweight, which I really like. It doesn't feel very like, you know, like sticky or tacky or anything like that. Um, I can feel that it's definitely dried down by now, but <laughs> you can still see my dark circles. Um, and I don't want to keep applying it because I apply two layers on top and um, it just I don't I don't want to look too cakey I added some powder underneath my eyes um, so here with the beauty um, sponge and it looked I really 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 liked how I applied it I don't know what it is but this flat part about the sponge and um, this flat part right here just works really good with getting it right right there and also like around here it just works like really good I'm just gonna finish applying this. Do you guys see that? It's like a perfect just line right there. Okay guys, so I finished doing um, what my eyes, my eyebrows, I put a little bit of mascara on, I put on bronzer, I powdered the rest of my face up, um, and I'm going to do the rest on camera that has to do with the first impression. I don't really have a use for the small concealer brush, I usually apply it with my eyeshadow, but I just apply um, my eyeshadow on my eyelid with my fingers, but I did get a little bit of mascara on top like of my eyelid, um, so I'm going to go in with this brush and just try to wipe it away and see how it works, see how I like the bristles, um, and let you guys know that oh that, that's working great very soft did you guys see it did take off mascara from my eyelid I'm gonna use this brush which is the contour brush to chisel out my cheekbones and also to take off this bake on my face and tell you guys how I like the bristles oh it's a very soft I'm gonna contour. I'm pretty sure you guys know what contouring is. If you don't know, it's just something that makes you look a little bit slimmer. It um, brings out your cheekbones and um, it makes you lose like five pounds, 10 pounds, okay? So I'm gonna use the Hula Bronzer first and if that doesn't work for me, then I'm gonna go in with my darkest shade, which is from NYX. So if you guys can see the contour, it just makes me look a little bit more, you know, like you can see this darkness right here that just makes my cheekbones seem like they're in. I'm going to use this darker shade because I do want it a little bit more intense by NYX. Um, and this is in their highlight and contour palette, so um, this is the darkest shade. And I'm going to use the same brush just to chisel it out. I also like to put this bring the contour to my nose and contour my nose a little bit and I feel like this brush is so small that it allows me to do that um, so I'm gonna go in with some blush and I'm also gonna use this brush as well this is the BH Cosmetics Tulip brush Okay guys, so I finished up the rest of my makeup now I'm back on camera. I really really like how everything everything turned out. I really like how my makeup looks. I just really like I did go a little overboard on my contour, but you know, that's okay sometimes. And the kids are just getting a little a little grumpy, so excuse them. But lastly I have to use is this um uh, what's it called setting spray here so the one thing that I don't like about the sprays is that um, they spray really thick um, and I really like whatever spray sprays are more finer rather than like chunky and thick I feel like sometimes I feel like I'm getting a shower all over again so I'm gonna spray this on my face and see how it how it sprays and let you guys know so I usually will spray the spray before I do my lipstick and before I put on mascara and um, that stuff like eyeliner in my eye or something like that but I totally forgot to do that, so um, we're just going to spray it anyway. Oh, that 
that merge, girl. Okay. Right off the bat, I can smell the alcohol. Um, it's a little bit chunky. Like, there's spots in my face that are wetter than other spots. But it is fine but chunky. It's fine but chunky. Um, which I don't mind. But one thing I really did mind was the alcohol. Like, I cannot open... I could not open my eyes because, like, I opened them and it burned, so I had to close them up. But, um, there was still a little product falling wherever I did open it. Um, and it's... Like, I got some on my arm and it feels really sticky. Um, and I got some all over my shirt. But that's usually what happens with any spray. Um. Let's see if it's dried down. Okay, guys, so it's pretty much dried down. Um, and... I do like the way it feels on my skin. I do like the way it made my skin look. So that's it for this um, first impressions. I will let you guys know how I like them here in a few weeks. I'll let you guys know how I like them or if, um, you know, what I think about them here in a few weeks so I can finish up this first impression. If you guys did like this video, make sure to give me a thumbs up. If you guys would like more first impressions, let me know in the comments down below. Um, and Leah just started watching the video. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I'm going to get ready to go and I will talk to you guys next time. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more videos. I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye!